Hey, what's crackin' hackin'? I'm Sarah Fram. Um, today I'd like to show you guys a really epic water fountain. This is pretty cool. It's uh, pretty old school and I like it. As you can see, it's got blue water particles effects and uh, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed! It's the best. I like it. I will build it for you guys right now, today. Let's get buildings then, shall we? So what you will need, guys, is a whole bunch of things. So first we need a lot of space. So let's find a nice place to build. I think here is a nice empty little bit. So let's put a water fountain here. I think will look great. First thing you want to do is understand that this is my first time <laughs> making fireworks. I've never done this before, so I'm embarrassed. But um, we're going to do it together, guys. So to craft a firework, we're going to need fire stars. I don't know if you've ever heard of these things. There are I don't know what these things are, but basically they help you change the color of your fireworks. I want blue. I want dark blue and light blue mixed together for water particles. So here I am crafting away. So what you're going to need, you're going to have some paper and you're going to need some, uh, not sawdust, but gunpowder. And when you put it together with your, you need your color as well. I believe they call it dye. You'll get your fireworks star. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting a dark blue fireworks star and I'm getting a, what is that? To no, uh, I think it's aqua. Blue and aqua. So we have both the colors. All right, so now I'm getting the this one here. So we got the dark blue and light blue. Very good. And now I've got my gunpowder, my paper, and my star. Putting them together will give you the desired effect in your firework. Now we have this, let's get out the things we need. We're going to need four dispensers. We will need two hoppers for our hopper timer, guys. And we will have redstone and a few repeaters, maybe four repeaters, and a comparator as well. We'll also need a bucket of water and a square one block or two blocks deep. Depending on how low or high you want your water feature, I'm going to have mine about this high. So I'm going to put my uh, dispensers facing into each other like this, with a bucket of water in the middle. And that's how it's going to be, because that <laughs> that's how we're going to do it today. Okay, so now we need some fences as well, guys. I forgot to mention that, but if you have fences, that'll be great. I'm actually going to put this one block down, okay, because I've just decided one block down is a little better for me. Not a, not, it's not a big deal, guys. So let's move on. Let's move on past that. Now you want to put your repeaters down behind every single one of these dispensers. You should probably leave them as they are for now, but if you want the desired random effect, you will change the repeaters, and it doesn't really matter. There's no specific way they have to be, so don't worry too much about that. All you want to do, really, is connect every single one of those up very basically with redstone dust, like such. Once this has been accomplished, you're about 80% done, guys. Nice work. Okay, 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 let's go. Okay, so when you're done, you want to bring out one of these redstone, just one block out this way. So you can put a grass block on top with a button or a... S no, we're going to use a lever, guys, I think. No, we're going to use a button. I think a button will work just fine. So when you press that, it should react every single one of those dispensers at the exact same time. And that's not exactly what we want, so let's get a hopper timer down, guys. If you don't know what this is, it's a very simple contraption. Very, very handy. I use this all the time. It's two hoppers placed into each other like so. It will have a comparator facing out where you want your power to go. Like this. And you may need a repeater after that as well to continue the flow of energy. As it tends to leak out from the comparator. So keep that in mind and drop one block into the comparators. Uh, into the hoppers, okay? Because that will actually start the timer. So any block of choice, it doesn't matter. Just chuck one inside of the hopper and you're ready to go. Now you just want to cover this up like soap and you're done. Here's the hopper here. You can see I've got the lever on the top, one block above. That gives me the power to turn it on and off. It's as simple as that, guys. All you want to do now is fill up your dispensers with your colored fireworks and put fences on the top of each one of those. We're about 95.8% done, guys. Brilliant, nice work. Okay, so just uh, make sure they're all connected and don't forget to like and subscribe. Or well, this build won't work. It just won't work unless you hit the like button, guys. I don't know why. It's just... Okay, guys, so we're putting the... I'm using half slabs, guys. I felt like that the half slabs were actually slowing the fireworks down just a little bit more to give it that effect. So you can do that too. So I'm doing it like this. So you can see I've got one gap down where I'm going to put a block of water. This is a mini fight. This is just to test it out. As you can see, it looks brilliant. Very cool. 
All right, so let's turn this into an actual water feature or a fountain. You can do any type of design you want. I'm just gonna bring this one out from my brain space and see what happens. And I ended up doing something quite bizarre like this. I don't know what it is, but it looks brilliant. I like it. Brilliant's the word of the day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for my brilliance. It comes out at night, most. Okay, so we're done. Let's turn it on and see how this works. You turn it on. No, you. Alright, so I turned it on, and there we go. Isn't that cool, guys? And even at night time, it's beautiful as well. And if you want to fill up your dispensers, unfortunately, you're going to have to dig down like a mole and fill them up individually, handingly, sparingly. Or you can connect a hopper contraption where you can just chuck them down in a chest and it will fill it up automatically, but yeah. It will take a long time. I might do that one day. One day. And here I'm not even counting blocks and I happen to be finding every single dispenser by luck. Never trade luck for skill, that's what I always say. Alright, so now I'm putting a block up here. It's a glowstone and I'm going to have an ice block here so it will melt being the cherry on the top. Very, very cool. Where's my switch gone? Oh, it's on the other side. Weird. Okay, so turn it on and there we go. Very cool. All different colors now. Not looking good, Seraphim. I made a mistake. But make sure you use light blue, dark blue, or turquoise like this. It looks so cool. How cool does that look? Aqua. There we go, Seraphim. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I already said that twice now, guys. You're testing my patience. But, um, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Seraphim, and I'll see you guys one night. Peace out.